All right. Good evening, Foxy Paws. Or you know what? Any other server personnel who are watching this? You're Foxy Paws fans, or you've gotten this uh, avatar? I'm gonna quickly go over how to properly update Rune with uh, custom textures because she's unfortunately built a little bit different than normal. So. Uh, we're just gonna start from the beginning. So at this point, you should already have Hoyomi um, and Rune uploaded onto your project, and it would look similar to this when you click the Open Me. From here, uh, you want to right-click in your little Assets folder, uh, Create folder, and name it however you want. In this case, I'm going to name it Kimmy Pictures because I am uploading. Texture specifically for Kimmy. So in here, we are going to upload our new textures. So we have the body texture, the tail texture, another body texture, in this case hair, and of course, the burb. Okay. So if you've gotten a texture pack with two body textures, which is what will most likely be the case for Rune, because she's a little bit different, like I said, you're going to need to find which one is the safe for work one and which one is the not safe for work one. Hopefully they're labeled as such, but as I learned myself, uh, that's not always going to be the case. I didn't label it myself that way because I didn't realize this happened at, at first. So, you know, I want to open up um, one of your textures and go... And take a look, and you can see right here, this is clearly the safe for work version. So, you can go ahead and rename this as Body Safe for Work. I don't even need to open the other one because I already know that that is going to be the not safe for work version. Now, obviously, what you are looking for is, you know, those extra parts. Okay. So, from here, you're going to go into the assets on the left and bring this down. And then you're going to go to body and figure out which one you're going to edit. So, in this case, I am going to mess with the goth version. So, we're going to go ahead and uncheck these to get them out of the way. So, you can see that I am... Oh, excuse me, on um, goth body. So if you open up here, here's where it gets tricky. Normally you would only have to edit one texture file, one material to properly upload a custom avatar or custom texture, sorry. However, with this one, you have to do two. So you have body safe work. And you have body real, which is obviously in this case the not safe for work version. So you have to edit both of those. Normally the way I do it is I'll actually go into here, go over to body and drag this down and edit it here. But um, that's not the case with this one. So if you do it the same way I do, you're going to have to change your ways a little bit for this. Okay, so uh, let's open up body real first. So you're going to unlock the shader. And then you're going to have to be kind of careful here. Because if you do, if you select anything inside here, it'll change your inspector window. And this will vanish on you and you have to open up all over again. So, um, we're going to go ahead and shrink this down. Go here. And thankfully, because we uh, named it something small enough that it fits here, we know which one's which. So, body real. That means we're going to grab the not safe for work. Plop it in, and it shouldn't change anything on here, which is good. And then we're going to go down to shading right here. Take it off a of flat. Put it back on flat. And lock it. Now, the reason I do that as a protection, because oftentimes if you're using a slightly different Poyomi version than the one uh, that is loaded in, so if you, you load a Poyomi version into your project that isn't the same as the one that was worked with, uh, you can have weird shading issues where stuff just becomes super dark when you lock it. 
doing that little shading swap helps fix your issue. Okay, so that one is done. Now we go back over to Bonnie Goth. So we have that one changed. And now we come over here to the safe for work version and do the same thing. So safe for work, safe for work. Boom. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to lock this and see what happens. See if it goes dark on me or not. Hey, it didn't. We're using a similar version. Awesome. But just in case, because I'm paranoid, <laughs> I'm going to come back in here. Come on. Loady, loady. And do that shift anyways. Because why not? Alright. So if we go back to goth, go back to goth body, you can see that now I have the two that are like this. So from here on out, all it is is uploading the um, other textures you have that apply to the one you've got. So in this case, <coughs> I'm going to load this one in here. And we'll have to edit that as necessary. Mm, no color, just. Now the reason I'm doing this is specifically because I have this a very exacting color that I want, so I don't want color adjust on this one. You're going to be different most likely, or maybe not. <laughs> don't be afraid to play with things as necessary. So, we'll lock that one in. That's good. I also have the big old Luffy tail right here. I'm going to go ahead and throw on the big pink panda tail. Ooh. And then look. If you ever do any edits like this where you have to show something, make sure you unshow it or set it back to the default that it was set to. Uh, otherwise, you'll have issues in-game with toggles. <laughs> okay, now the bird is hidden a little bit deep, so we're going to go ahead and show you here. So on the left, you got the um Among Us follow <laughs> with gr grab. Uh, yeah, so you can grab this, and actually other people can grab it too. It's kind of funny. Oh, anyways. So uh, you have to go to world constraint, follower constraint, body. And there you can unlock. Throw on your shape or your new texture. In this case, Katori. And lock it up. Oh, crap. Uh, if you have this um, <laughs> pink fuzz, that means you did not load uh, one of the files into your um, scene like I forgot to do here. So make sure that you have that one. It's uh, unlit WF something something. So not part of this. But that is how you properly update your textures. That will allow you to texture swap in game from say four to real body without issue. Reason I'm showing this obviously is because normally, or like with the Kyoko, that was all part of one singular texture. You didn't have to do this. Well, hopefully that helped. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask.